podcast. I'm glad that you've decided to come and learn a little bit more about biology here on the web. This is going to be an interactive tool that you can use to study up for tests and also anything else you need to study. So I'm glad that you've taken this into your own hands. In this installment of the Bolster Biology Podcast, or the BBP, we will be discussing about biomolecules. There are four main types, and we will discuss those four main types throughout this time. The first biomolecule that we will discuss are proteins. A protein is a large molecule formed by smaller linked molecules called amino acids. The amino acids react chemically together to form the overall shape of the protein. Proteins are extremely important for the various functions that they provide for the body. Some proteins are enzymes, which promote chemical reactions. Other proteins are structural, such as keratin in your skin, in your fingernails, and your hair, and collagen in your skin. Other proteins are antibodies, which help fight infection in your body. And there are also specialized proteins, such as hemoglobin, which carries oxygen in your blood to the rest of your body. The next biomolecule we will discuss are nucleic acids, which are long chains of nucleotides. Nucleotides are composed of three groups, the phosphate, the sugar, and the base. Deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, and ribonucleic acid, or RNA, are the major types of nucleic acid. DNA is your genetic material, and RNA helps in the protein-making process. Lipids are nonpolar molecules that are not soluble in water. They include fats, phospholipids, steroids, and waxes. Lipids are an important part of the structure and functioning of cell membranes. If you remember, phospholipids make up the lipid bilayer of cell membranes. Fats are lipids that store energy. Your body uses fats as an energy store because of its efficiency, since 9 calories are stored in every gram of fat. Carbohydrates such as this glucose molecule are the optimum energy molecules in biological systems such as you. They have a ratio of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms of 1 to 2 to 1. Glucose has 6 carbon, 12 hydrogen, and 6 oxygen atoms. Divide that by 6 and you get 1 to 2 to 1 of each. Monosaccharides such as glucose, fructose, and ribose are the simplest sugars. Disaccharides are two simple sugars bonded together, such as the milk sugar lactose, glucose, and galactose, and maltose, two bonded glucose molecules. Polysaccharides are long chains of simple sugars. Organisms use polysaccharides as quick storage, glycogen in animals, and starch in plants. Cellulose is another polysaccharide that provides structural support for plants. It makes up the cell wall. Humans cannot digest cellulose, thus you cannot eat a tree. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of the BBP, or the Bolster Biology Blog. I hope you've learned something about biomolecules and that you remember the four main types. Proteins, carbohydrates, lipids, and nucleic acid. Make sure you study this and remember this so that you'll be prepared for the next test.